back. We in the corner. We are awesome. I'm Yang. He Ying. He Yang dudes. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna do our second reverse interventions. With Legos, like, what if everything was invented by Legos and Play-Doh instead of like bricks and stones, stones and woods and, and yeah. pyramids and everything you can think of possibly? Pretty much our childhood. Legos and Play-Doh. I remember playing with that when I was a child. That was fun. I remember playing with Play-Doh and we got poop coming in. We got uh, Legos. Hello. With Legos, I always like dope robots and stuff. So I don't know. Finding robots like like uh, I was a mech. I like making max with Legos, so. And I have the uh, snake, yeah. all kind of different things you can make out of Play-Doh. Do that make the hamburger, the burger. So yeah, well, what if what if we build stuff with Legos and Play-Doh instead of sticks and stones and bricks? People couldn't even figure that out. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get a whole lot of Legos, build them up at like a house. It'll take a while though, because you know how little those are, and you know, a lot of Legos. Or what if they have uh, who size Legos like? I don't know. I ten by ten Lego size. I don't know. I think Play-Doh would be. I think Play-Doh would actually be difficult because you have to like roll. I don't know, like make weird shapes out of it. So like, uh, it's kind of like clay. How you make clay houses, but with Play-Doh. It's like clay. But faces. we don't have clay, so like. Okay, time to make the Play-Doh house. That's okay, so cool. um, you're gonna be living in that Play-Doh house over there. Uh, it's gonna be a red house. Uh, you gonna have fun with that. What would happen if it rained though? Well, well, wouldn't it slip slide right through the Legos and wouldn't it kind of like make clay into mud? Clay into uh, clay into mud. So we might have to do anti uh, rain. We have, might have to add some anti rain uh, liquid. We need good structure. That's what we need. Good so play doh would have to be mixed with some uh, anti uh, rain mechanics. So when that come to be building uh, play doh, it's like a house. It can be solidified and will be dissolved by water. Wait, would instead of a penthouse, wouldn't it be called a Lego house? Because you know a penthouse is full is all glass. Yeah, it could be a Lego house. Wow, it's like there's not gonna be no sub. How about building a mansion? Could be a Lego mansion. That shit would be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll tell you. Well, make sure we're not barefooted because we we don't want to step on that. <laughs> Legos do hurt if you step on. I never, I never done this, so I don't know what it feels like. Well, let's just say I've always been barefoot in the house. And yeah, not a good idea when there's Legos around, lying around. So yeah, we have to wear shoes all, no, we have to wear, actually no, I think we have to wear shoes all the time. You know, unless we go to bed. So, uh, how do you prevent the Lego from falling apart? Um, maybe glue. Glue to fire. Super glue. Super glue. Actually no. Monster glue. I say hot glue. Monster glue. Monster glue. Yep. Monster glue. So it would stay like that. Uh, we have window cutouts. Okay, so when we call a plumber, what would happen if we put... How are they going to put the wires through the window? It's going to be... This is very weird. Um, they might have to dredge you... Uh, the, We're going to need a toilet, you know, and a shower. Okay, the toilet is made out of the, uh, the Legos, and uh, they have a hose to use that toilet. But how are they going to put Legos? it to play? How are they going to put it to play, though? That's my question. If we build that... Uh, then it goes in like a circle of facets, so all the water can go into the toilet bowl. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. And the water fill up, and we can go uh, back from there. Same with uh, drinking water. Uh, Play them. Uh, we have like mold, and we uh, make anti water mold. How are we gonna put lights in there? Because you know how I'm pretty sure if it's heavy, it's gonna break the Legos down. Or Play Doh, no, Play Doh, I can see actually. Sticky like sticking it to it. You just have to put um, it through it. Do we have to in is in there uh Ooh, this is Saps the um pillars that can hold the wall. So if something heavy like a fan. And then they would be spinning like a fan. Too. So just imagine all this like Play Doh if I add Lego. Wait, maybe I the Play Doh and Lego at the same time. Yeah, we can also do that too. Actually no. I would have the roof be Play Doh and I'll have the sides be Legos because I think Clay can hold rain, no, it can't so turn up snow, but clay will probably absorb rain more than Legos can because it will ride through the Legos. Like I said, we got to think about, about the, what about bad weather. What Tornado, about, it's, it's obviously going to get destroyed easily. How, how we can uh, block out a tornado and earthquake? I mean, we can build two, like, pretend this is, like, say this is Legos right here. You can build it, like, another layer of it, like, put a wall in front of it, or build another Lego wall in front of it. So, where do we stand? Or where do we go if uh, an earthquake hit? Do we stick on the basement? 
Um, that's the what they say. Gonna, the house is going to fall down because the ground shakes. We're going to like, go. Like I said, maybe the Play Doh I can see hold still, but the Legos I can't see hold still when it comes to the earthquake. Remember that? Yeah. So, do we still uh, go down to the basement? Pretty much. The Lego basement? basement? Wait, what about stairs? Unless you want a one floor house. We can make a Lego stairs. We have to make it out of Play Doh, though. We can make it out of Lego. Yeah, but we have to make it really, really strong. We can, Actually, we can. We just have to like, stack the Lego. We can put the uh, Play Doh on the bottom of the Legos, and the Legos will be on top. Look at that. Mm hmm. So we can step down like. Make sure it doesn't. Yeah, we have to build like a whole layer of like, the Lego stairs. Like, it would be like. Maybe it's a. Uh, uh, we reinforce all the walls at a Lego, but a Play Doh. And that also have a solution within the Play Doh that make it so it won't fall apart. This would be interesting if this would happen. So it's kind of like a. Basically, we're making brick out of Play Doh and Lego. Uh, I mean, it'd be fun to make Lego, like stuff out of Lego. It's like the Lego movie. Profession, you'd be a professional builder. But we also want to explain how a tornado of and Marvel and all that would put it. Oh, yes. Like I said, it'll easily. Actually, how about we build a secondary house, like a defense house, like Tornado Combs. Make the walls out of Play-Doh. No, make the whole house out of Play-Doh. We can also make an underground base, uh, underground center. Yeah, we have to, like, in the backyard. We have to dig in the ground, though. Yeah, we and, need then, shovels. and then we have uh, the Play-Doh as the walls of the barricade and the laps of the Lego pieces. I do like that. Lego door. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So cars will be different, but it comes to uh, So how do you handle floods? How do we handle floods? Yeah, how do we handle Ooh, floods? Oh man. Thing is that when it comes to a flood, it can turn maybe possibly play it into mud, and it can go pretty much swish right through the Legos. Because water's very strong if it hits. It's like tsunamis, for instance. So how do, we, how do you protect you from the uh, flood? From the flood? Um, jeez, I don't know. Make like layers, layers of walls of Legos. No, layers of, of I think layers well, of, no, layers of Legos, no, wait. A, it, it's kind of a hard. It's a clay hard. house can, is defensive from the water too. Think like down in Mexico. See, I think the, the summer, when it comes to the summer for rain and stuff, make it half Play-Doh, half Legos. If it comes to the, like, no, summer, you can make a trip with Legos, if it, you, but if it rains, you're going to need a Play-Doh roof. The, will that Lego crack in the house at all? And during the winter, hmm, winter, winter, well, Play-Doh would work during the winter, I think. So, it, for a, a glass a house, it'd be a glass Legos that stack upon each other. Yeah, I mean, penthouse, they're called, well, penthouse is really nice. Like, greenhouse, as you can see, do the Legos. To come be like a glass kind of classified Lego building blocks. When it comes to buildings, like, what about like hospitals and schools like this and such? They would have to have advanced engineering. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you need the bigger Legos, like the big building. What are they called building blocks? I forgot the the building blocks. Yeah, those big Legos. Because like the little Legos, that's that's gonna take a while to build something like this campus right here. You need three levels. Three and uh, levels. a lot, a lot of clay. That is a lot of clay. Like I said, just have the roots be clay. So what color would it be? Would it be like a uh, bright yellow, bright red? Or be like That's the one thing we this? forgot. We can, we, we can make our own color house. So like, maybe red. Rainbow? No. It's like red uh, Lego going like this. I wish there was black Legos, but there's... Wait, there is black Legos. You have to get like the special Legos though. Like the Star Wars edition? Yeah, because they have green. Like I said, I, if I did that, I'd make a black and red house with the Lego. Blue and white? And then Play-Doh would be... It'd probably be red and... Isn't there black Play-Doh too? Yeah. Everything's black and red. And probably we can uh, count, make a, mix up the different color, make it kind of camouflage. Yeah, pretty much. That'd um... Interesting. There is a different thing than the Play-Doh, it's called like Moon, 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 Moon Dust, Moon, uh, it's Moon Sand? Moon Sand, Moon yeah. Sand. Man, you see those commercials all the time. Yeah, uh, so, this, um, even though this video is not about, let's talk about if we can make a, something out of Moon Sand. I don't think that would work. It'd be, the rain, that can easily turn into mud, like, like that, faster than Play-Doh. Faster than Play-Doh? Yeah. 
So moon sand. Um, but it would be like a sand castle. I mean, it's kind of similar. To, it's kind of similar to Plato. But sand. instead of sand, the farming pot, the moon sand would actually come. Actually, is, up. isn't clay and sand opposites? It's, it's kind of like a clay sand. That's what moon sand is. Hmm. So it's stick together. It's stronger than sand. So if you want to make a um, actually like sand, sand castle, yeah. you can make it like a sand castle kind of house and like a beach area. Yeah. There you go, piping and and the snowy area. Clay, uh, the Plato is like in the hot Mexico area. Sometimes mid mid range. Yeah. Well, that's that's just gonna be the end of that of the of the smooth sand. Because remember, we're doing the thing now or whatever. The castles. So yeah. Remember building up. Imagine building a castle out of Legos and Play Doh. You think that I think a castle is bigger than this. You know, origami too. Origami. Origami. This is out of the what? So origami, paper houses. Can that can that actually work? It probably can. Actually, wait, paper houses. Water can go through paper easily. Cardboard. I mean, actually, cardboard is actually keeps you warm if you think about it. Hmm. Imagine this being cardboard. Wind can blow it down. Strong wind can blow it down, like hurricanes and tsunamis can take it down easily. It could take any of this out easily. Good thing we're not living in tsunami country. Can we build it? Yes, we can. <laughs> if it was a Lego and Plato, heck yeah, we could build this book. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I, remember, I remember that show too. It was actually pretty good. But. Got you addicted to being out this kid in us? But, anyways, <laughs> that was actually most of our skin. So, um. Of what if Legos and what if house buildings were built out of Legos and Plato? That was our main. We reason. have one question left, though. One, what's the one question? Is Plato and Lego successful? It can be. I mean, it depends on how you use them or stuff. Also, we stick with bricks and stones. I think bricks and stones would be better because... But, I mean, it'd be interesting if Plato and Lego would use That if we didn't have a universe with uh, brick... Brick, stone, sticks, yeah, you know. So yeah. they only invented uh, Legos and Plato. Don't forget straws because straw material, like, they do a lot of that on the islands and stuff. They build a lot of their huts out of straws and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, let us know if you guys have any more ideas you can tell us about, like, reverse inventions. I mean, we would kind of need some support about that. But if you guys want, you can send comments below about what you guys want to see us reverse inventions of. and. We'll be happy to talk about it. Have fun. We are out. Ying, yang, deuce. I'm Yang, Ying. Deuces. Bye.